Hi, this is Mark Newman, Chief Analyst at TM Forum. I'm delighted to be joined today by Srinas Gopalakrishna. Srinas is the Head of OSS Transformation at BT. Hello, Srinas. Hi, Mark. And by Anand Padki. Anand is the OSS Delivery Head at Tech Mahindra. Hello, Anand. Hi, Mark. Now, as you may know, BT and Tech Mahindra have partnered for many years on uh, different uh, OSS transformation programs at BT. Those of you who are not familiar with BT, BT is a UK and global telco. It's the country's largest broadband operator, rapid deployment now of full fibre, uh, and in recent years stepping into LTE and now a big focus on 5G rollout. So a, a lot of new networks, a lot of legacy as well to bring together. So we're going to be walking through some of the big um, issues and challenges and opportunities for BT. So Srinas, maybe I can just uh, I can just turn to you first. So can you walk us through what some of the main challenges are for a telco such as BT in terms of making that OSS transformation? Uh, good question, Mark. Um, as you know, the customer demands have changed. We need to provide more bandwidth in a reliable and faster fashion. And also given that networks are becoming increasingly software driven, we need to digitize the network, be it virtual or physical, and deliver them in a much faster fashion. And also using the principles of software in a very agile world. So the existing systems and process allows us to run the business today, but it isn't feasible for us to run the future. And when we think about um, how you approach an OSS transformation program, is there a, a methodological approach? Is there best practice to be followed in terms of how you move different applications to the cloud? There is no one best approach. Many factors play in mark, like security, how close it's to the network, do we have scaling requirements, what are the volumes, these are a few aspects that needs to be considered when we actually decide to migrate an application to cloud. It may not be pragmatic though to just migrate the application just like that directly onto the cloud. What we'll have to do is we'll have to reimagine the future and then kind of redevelop the application in the new world. So the ways that you imagine the future and then work backwards and then build the application and then use that to be deployed into the cloud. And sometimes we talk about the requirement for a single source of truth. Um, and again, looking at BT, uh, you're a telco with a, with a rich history. Uh, and with the rich history goes a lot of legacy with it as well. So how realistic is it to have a single source of truth? A single truth inventory is the fundamental enabler for us to run automated networks and the relevant operations. We at BT have made it uh, really uh, running in production where we have got the physicals, the logicals, the virtuals, and the services all in one data store. So if you need a real benefit from a digital transformation, which is to be very truly data driven, then the single truth inventory is the starter. Thank you. Uh, and Anand, uh, as, as BT's delivery partner, you've been doing a lot of the heavy lifting, I guess, in terms of OSS. And um, you know, when we think about the world of um, VNF and CNF, um, we talk about onboarding with virtual, so no manual intervention at all. Um, I mean, how realistic is it to build automated telecoms networks on cloud native principles. That's something quite new and quite different. Thanks. Thanks, Mark, for asking this very important and relevant question. So what is happening in VNF and CNF world is really exciting stuff. So in VNF and CNF world, onboarding of new network element is managed through complete automated process with the help of well-defined architectures like Mano uh, Orchestrator. The question is, can we really replicate this in PNF world as well? And I think the answer is yes. Yes, with few exceptions. In fact, in BT, 
through our OSS transformation programs, we have been able to automate most of the process steps in the plan and build journey required to deploy new network infrastructure on the ground. To achieve this level of automation, we have used tools like Tosca specification, Yang model, REST APIs, and graph DBs. So I think in nutshell, yes, we can achieve similar level of automation even in physical world as well. Thank you. Uh, and Srinath, if I can just come back to you, I'm sure that you and Anand would, would love to spend all day talking about new technologies, but when it comes to budgeting and what the board level want, what the CXOs are looking for, um, they're going to want to have their, their benchmarks, their KPIs. So um, what are your suggestions in terms of the most relevant KPIs you can be using to measure the success of an OSS transformation program? Um, exactly as Anand mentioned, the one that we did for the the uh, PNF onboarding, which is similar like PNF. So uh, when we went with those business cases, uh, we were looking at um, how do we uh, reduce the time to market, then how do we improve the operational efficiency, and then how do we protect the existing investments, and also look at uh, how do we digitize the network so that we bring uh, business models uh, for the future, which will allow us to create new products, new services, and uh, delight the customer. So we were looking at all these aspects when we were actually putting one of those such business cases. And every business cases really will have to tick all these aspects for it to be really fruitful. Thank you. And, and just to, to round the discussion, you know, Anan started to talk about um, he thought it was realistic to build you know, automated networks. When it comes to automated operations um yeah it, it is an automated an autopilot approach toward operations is that a reality and uh, and i guess it hopefully it will be a reality but what are the what are the key steps towards going from where we are today to fully automated or semi-automated operations should we say so as i mentioned single truth inventory is very critical and plus uh, we'll have to reimagine uh, the way how we want to operate but having said all of that, there's been considerable innovations and improvements in this area. Intelligent and integrated automation using real-time network data, OSS, BSS data, inventory with the power of AI is actually the reality which is going to allow us to get to a state of autopilot mode of operations. We have to get that way forward and that is the reality for the future. Excellent. Well, um, it sounds as if you're going to be working together for a, a few more years to come because I'm sure that while the vision is there then it's quite complex and challenging so so good luck with your continued partnership on the transformation and uh, Srinath and, and, and a nice to speak to you both thank you thank you Mark thank you Mark